Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a parachute Thor's hammer. The hook that I have in a vise is a 100BL. This is a size 14. This is a barbless dry fly hook. And this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to use 70 denier black thread. We're going to start that behind the eye and we're going to come back halfway. And then we're going to bring that thread forward half of that. That's going to be where our wing post is. And for the wing post, I'm going to use an Antron yarn. And this is one third the yarn when you pull it off the card. We're going to tie that in. And we're going to give that about four tight wraps right there. And then we're going to trim that off. Trim it at an angle. The amount on the front doesn't matter because we're going to trim that. We're going to secure the remainder of the wing and we're going to bring the thread back to where it would hang if there were a barb on this hook. For the tail I'm going to use a brown and a grizzly hackle. And you can see on here the hackles came from rooster capes. They have long stiff barbels and you want to select uh, two feathers that have the same length barbels on them. So when we go to take our tail, we're going to pull them to a 90 degree and then we're going to, with the hand that you would hold it to the hook width, we're going to pull that off and we have our mixed tail. We want our tail to be just about the length of the body. We're going to go ahead and tie that in. I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail and then we're going to secure it and we're going to trim off the excess. Now for the abdomen I'm going to use Adam's Gray dubbing and you can see this much uh, dubbing that I have that's going to be too much. I'm going to take half of that amount. You just really need enough to turn the black thread to gray. Now we're going to wrap it. I'm going to go back that little bit. I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail and then begin wrapping. We're going to bring this abdomen up to just a little bit behind the wing post. I'm going to stand that wing post up. So that wing post could go a little bit closer, a little bit further up there. I'm going to put a couple of wraps and move that up there just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to stand that up. I'm going to leave our thread in front of the wing post. And now our hackle, I'm going to use a grizzly brown and a regular grizzly. You can use regular brown, but I'm going to peel the barbels off the end. And I want to take approximately one dark bar and one light bar off there. Now I put them together. We're going to tie them in front of the wing post first. And right now I'm going to make a little bit of a head right here. Then I'm going to wrap that back to the wing post. And when I hit the wing post, I'm going to wrap up the wing post. These are really long saddle hackles. So you'll see me throwing them over. And we're going to go up about 10 to 15 
thread widths. Then we're going to bring that back down. The saddle hackle, this is a good example of why it pays to use a saddle hackle because this saddle hackle is about 15 inches. The brown one is about 15 inches and the small one is about 7 inches. That 15 inch hackle, I could get 12 flies out of that from one feather. We move our thread to the front. Now for the thorax, I have a pair of peacock hurl, and these peacock hurl were the leftovers from tying Griffith's gnats. I got two Griffith's gnats out of each peacock hurl, and then I had about a three inch piece left over. We're going to tie them in with the long section pointing forward. We're going to bring that thread back and we're gonna bring it to the back of the wing post now since there's not gonna be a lot of protection for the peacock curl I'm gonna put some head cement on there and then we're going to wrap these to the rear Then we're going to put a wrap or two right in back of the wing post. Then I'm going to tie them off. And we're going to get rid of that excess. I'm going to use my scissors. Now we have a little bit of space right there. I'm going to take just a little, another little pinch of the Adam's Gray dubbing. We're going to fill that pinch in. And putting the peacock on going from front to back is going to eliminate us having to go through the peacock with our thread. So I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to bring the thread around that wing post. Just give it maybe one more turn. Now we're going to take our hackle. going to pull down and just bend them. Don't pull hard. Just bend them so they're stiff to the side. We're going to take them together and we're going to wrap them together. And since we have two hackles here, we don't need to put a lot of turns on there. Maybe three max. There's one. Going down the wing post, two, and three. Pull that tight. And now we're going to tie the hackle to the wing post. Give it about three turns and then go ahead and put a couple of turns underneath the hackles. Now we're going to trim off the excess. Take the poke and snip and get that hackle out of there. Now we're going to give it a whip finish. I'm going to use my whip finisher this time. Usually with parachutes I use my fingers. We're going to go make sure that you get that thread underneath the hackles so you don't tie any hackles down. Now before I pull that tight, I'm going to take my head cement and I'm going to put head cement on the left side as I'm looking at it, on the left side thread. Then when we pull it in, all of that head cement is going in and we're not getting any head cement on our whip finisher. 
snug that up tight. We go ahead and trim that off. Now the last thing to do is to trim the wing to size. And this really depends on you, how big you want the, the uh, wing. But I generally cut them about the length of the hackle. So we could measure that there and then trim that backwards. I got one long one there. And here we have a Thor's Hammer Parachute. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.